terrestrial radio, and they don't want us or yous around no more, so... Uh, they hit us. <laughs> so, we hit them back. <laughs> SoFloRadio.com. Yo, what's good? Pay attention, goddammit. It's your man Plus in the man cave right now in the Florida room with your boy AB. Turn it up! One way. Welcome, 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 man. It's another episode of the Man Cave here inside the Florida Room on SofaRadio.com, man. I am your gracious host, your boy AB. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Look, come now. Been a little under, under the weather this whole week, man. But that's living in Florida. That's what happens, man. It rains for a whole day. Then watch tomorrow it'll be like sunny, and, and then Monday will be windy, and Thursday will be a little bit all. I mean, Tuesday will be a little everything, but. Welcome back, man. Welcome to the show, man. Welcome to all those look, watching on YouTube, um, listening on SofaRadio.com or on the TuneIn app. <laughs> Welcome to the front room, man. Welcome to Presents the Man Cave. Today's show, man, I have actor, producer, a friend of the show. He's been on here before, Mr. Woody, Ms. Woody Deont. I always, I always pronounce his name wrong. And of course, man, I got my brothers... They late. They come. They they on their way. I just got a call from um from Zo Montana. He'll be on his way. But um, we got a live show for y'all, man. We got a lot to talk about that we missed on last week. Uh, Missouri killings, Paris, France, uh, Syria, Northwestern students <laughs> becoming endangered species. Cause like every week, another Northwestern teen is getting shot. And there was a shootout yesterday. Oh, well, it was it was shots fired. At the um, Central Carroll City game, <sighs> close enough to Charles. I mean, everybody thought it was a Northwestern game; they just affiliated with them. But we got that. We're gonna talk about the upcoming play. Um, I'm gonna say it in Creole. Um, Tribulation, win. But it's called My Tribulations. It's basically I I I go into it. It's basically a show about growing up Haitian. <laughs> but once Woody gets here, I let him go deeper into that. We're gonna talk about. Um, my homeboy Charlie Sheen winning, well, losing <laughs> with the undetectable AIDS. We gonna talk about the the Billboard Billboard um top ten rappers of all time. That was the most ludicrous. List. I don't. I'm gonna talk about it, but even though I don't want to talk because that's, that's, they. I, I feel like the list was made on purpose to create conversation, to create, to get clicks, and to and, and to breed controversy. Um. We finna get back into this little song real quick. I love this song, man. Let's play some more Zook real quick. 
And then we finna get back into the floating room, people. It's the man cave, your boy AB. Oh, of course, we got my homeboy Jack Frost. And that's about all he'll give you, people. But I enjoy some Zoop. We're finna come back with the floor room here, man. Pres- ah, presents the man cave. Don'tSoberReader.com. Friends, we ain't even on that. All these niggas taking Instagrams, selfies. Point me to the money. Point me to the money. Business. Big business. Maybach business. If you ain't with it, I don't f you. Hi, y'all. And point me to the money, keep it real with me, nigga, and you won't be disappointed. My brother called a L and I still write him every month. He told me sell his guns and I still got him in the trunk. I wonder why, I wonder why. I wonder why sometimes, I wonder why. I want to shine just like the summertime. They say them folk gave him a heap of time. Nappy headed nigga, pocket full of crack rock. 19, living like a f***ing rap star Watching from my point, you thought it was a f***ing film One day he buy the car, next day the f***ing rims Curly hair, they bitches tall and they slim They know him as the myth, but see, I know it's him Never testify, I seen it in his eye Attempted murder on his life in that 360 eye With my two eyes, two different pistols one with registered and one to get your issue. I wonder why, sometimes I wonder why. All this fame and fortune leave you traumatized. You ain't gotta hold my hand and point me to the money. Keep it real with me, nigga, and you won't be disappointed. My brother called a hell and I still write him every month. He told me sell his guns and I still got him in the trunk. I wonder why, I wonder why. I wonder why sometimes I wonder why Shine just like the summertime Heard them folk gave them a heap of time Now I'm being followed by some creepy a crack Now I'm being followed by some creepy a crack Stand your ground, stand your ground Stand your ground, you gotta stand your ground Got on my hoodie and my hoop of fucking desert eagle you wanna do me, then you go and tell the people Knock me down, temp drops as the sun rise I could see a hustler in my son's eyes I never knew that money brings so many enemies Dreams come true, they dream of killing me But it's them and I feed them fish Them killers come and X you off the list uh, Now I'm being followed by some creepy A crack now I'm being followed by some creepy gang trackers. Stand your ground, stand your ground, stand your ground. You gotta stand your ground. You ain't gotta hold my hand and point me to the money. Keep it real with me, nigga, and you won't be disappointed. My brother called a hell and I still write him every month. He told me sell his and I got a minute. I wonder why, I wonder why, I wonder why sometimes I wonder why. Shine just like the summertime. Heard them folk gave them a heap of time. Okay. 
they're having trouble hearing you, so take your time. Creepy ass cracker. And then and then he said still following. And he's still following him? Yes. Hi y'all, I'm back with another video and I just wanted to talk about the Mizzou situation. Okay, so we have kids in Mizzou that are having their dorm rooms. They're having it in their dorm rooms yesterday and the Ku Klux Klan was supposedly came there or whatever, however case may be, and was throwing bricks and stuff and threatening to kill kids at 10, 10 a.m. today or whatever. This hurts my heart because now our livelihood is threatened. Now our colleges are threatened where we're supposed to feel safe away from home and we can't even feel that way. They, these kids can't even feel that way because they have other white students and they have Ku Klux Klan members coming up there talking about some we're going to kill people and throwing bricks and making them have in their rooms. I'm trying to figure out why hasn't the news taken this seriously? Why isn't the SWAT and the National Guard out there for their asses? All this other shit. Why? 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 Because they're white and they're white privileged kids. Now they're saying that it wasn't immediate it wasn't an immediate threat, it was a social media threat. But let a motherfucking terrorist from Saudi Arabia come over here on Facebook and say, I'm gonna blow this motherfucker up. They gonna have his ass the next day. Not even the next day, a few hours. They got this motherfucker in custody, somehow he's not a danger, he's not a threat, when he just threatened to kill every black person he sees. Now, when you look at the history of these white motherfucking crazy ass kids, you notice that they do go up and shoot up schools. You, they go up and shoot up schools, but they're not taking that into consideration because they don't want their children to look like savages. They want us to look like savages and look like we started the drama. They up here talking about the black kids egged it on. How can you egg something on so racist? Wow. With that being said, man, welcome back to the Man Cave here inside the Florida Room on SoFloradio.com, man. Listen, we're going to go straight to the point, man. You'd have to be under a rock for the last two, three, four, five thousand years to not peep the racism that's going on. Whether the racism or the that's going on lately, man. I mean, that was a young lady talking about Missouri, but hell, it happened here. The, the young bell feather, the dude that got shot in Miami Garden not too long ago. Uh, it was a police. It was a police involved shooting open lock another day. Another young man was the dude that got shot by undercover. They got killed by the church guy. I mean, I can go on for days of just naming victims of who got shot by police this week or this year. Or this, the last two years, but let's 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 let's, let's, let's stick to the, the Missouri for for a while. I at first I was like, dude should not have gotten fired, cause I, I mean I got pissed off about dude getting fired. Like I don't, I don't think it's his fault that the KKK is harassing dudes until I realized until I further went into the story. Until I further went into the story, I realized that um. But he did nothing about it. He didn't make a statement. He didn't write an email. He didn't send out a, a mass text. <laughs> like, dude ain't do shit, but... So, in hindsight, I take it back. I was on social media acting real ignorant. But, <laughs> in hindsight... What's good, bro? We good, man. We good. Uh, welcome to the floor room, man. Um, thank you. Thank you for having me again. <laughs> this is the man cave. Of course, my, my guest of honor is here on Haitian time, of course. Sorry, everybody. I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> you know, traffic is raining out there. People in Miami forget to drive when it's raining. Oh, man. That boy what? said, you, you, you know, ran a couple of steps. Boy, you, 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 like, get this man some water. <laughs> you know, I wanted to get the whole 45 minutes in at least, you know. How's it going, friend? It's going pretty good. I'm tired, but happy to be here. Fonsu, 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 Fonsu. Right now, we're talking about <sighs> the, Missouri, the, the Missouri incidents in M Missouri. The Missouri, when the, when, the, when the college kids were being harassed by the KKK. Right. Now I'm I'm a play, I was I was playing devil's advocate when it first happened. So I'm mm -hmm. like, man, listen, the school is 77. Missouri is like 95 percent white. Right. The school is 77 percent white. Right. I think it's seven percent black kids there. As the president, is it my job to? It's my job to to protect the whole, right? It's it's your job to protect the whole, but at the same time, if uh. We're supposed we're supposedly supposed to be created um treated as equals, but yes. if one my, if one set of people is being treated differently from another set of people, especially if, even if the percentage is small, mm -hmm. that voice needs to be stepped out because we bleed the same. 
True. You know what I mean? We, we, we're all created as one. But the society that we live in separates us by our race. So you as a president, you got to treat everyone as equal. There's no, there's no different thing aside from a person breathing but their skin color. And if it's based on that, that one is being treated better than the other, then by all means. He had to do what he had to do um, to rectify that and stepping down lets lets it be known that his guilt was was shine. I felt bad. Like I was a, I felt like I was a black Republican. I was like defending this man. I was like, yo, why is he getting fired? Because of the acts of some some ignorant crackers. Well like, actually actually he didn't get fired. Well, he stepped down. But, it, 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 but it, that, that's his admit of guilt yeah, right there. That exactly. lets you know that he wasn't doing his part. And in hindsight, like when I sat down and really thought about it, I'm like, eh, he sat down to save his face. Some other little Ku Klux Klan, some old school members going like Give him another job pretty soon because he didn't get fired. He resigned. He saved face. Well, that's what it is. He saved face as a professional man. You know, he he did what he had to do for himself. But you know, I'm 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 proud of the students that did take yes, the stand I, I, and I, did I, what they had to do. Although I hate the fact that it had to be football players that that refused to play to do that. You know, it you should, know what? anyone should have a stand. That's but I'm glad that they had a platform. It's, it, what it takes. It, listen, listen, right, right. If because apparently it was it, it was going on for months and months before the fact, mm-hmm. and nothing was done. So, and honestly, like now, I, I, I really feel like an idiot the more I think about it because Missouri played real real assholes. Until they risked losing million dollars in, in football revenue, that's when they felt the need. So that's money, man. So money. black and white didn't matter to them it was, until, it until was green money. got involved. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's one thing. Blue and green are two colors that, oh, that are not divided. It's either you all blue, you all, all green. green. <laughs> but black and white is black and yeah. white, man. So, yeah, man. We're here. We're talking um. I want to ask, how do you feel about the um? Cause I, I I got I got ripped to shreds about it on Facebook mm-hmm. about the whole Paris and and Paris Syria ISIS situation. Uh, man, honestly, did, did you change your your Facebook profile? No, no, I, no I did not. I, I'm not gonna change my profile. Picture <laughs> no, Why? Are you got support. I, I mean, it's not it's not about support. I mean, I feel for the people that were that were, that were killed in the mm-hmm. massacre and stuff like that. But you know, um, I didn't. I, me putting the flag on my profile it's is not, not going to change, the, si- si- change yeah. the situation. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and, um, you know, going on social media, seeing that people are putting other crises that's going on that's not being publicized, like the Kenya massacre, like the Nigerian massacre, here's my and thing, all this here, stuff. Here's my so, thing with the Kenya thing, though. Mm-hmm. The Kenya thing happened in April. Even though it, 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 it could have happened 10 years ago. The fact that it's not getting that kind of publicity that it should get, like the French is getting, mm-hmm. you know. I mean, injustice Sean, anywhere, right? And, 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 and I mean, the fact that people in France were were, were killed, mm-hmm. it was a, a, a large mass, mass of quantity. But the people in Kenya, they were also killed, but they were slaughtered, yeah. you know. And yeah. that didn't get that don't get no kind of uh, b- b- publicity except on social media. Yeah. So my opinion about it is is that I feel for the people who's passed away, and I feel that we're still we're living in a world where we're being terrorized by terrorists and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, we're being, it's governed, not, we're being governed by terrorists. We're pretty <laughs> much, pretty much, but I'm not gonna change my Facebook page or my face, my 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 picture for the French. I'm not French. I'm Haitian. <laughs> you know what? In, in in hindsight, because I first all like, man, you know what? It's the Wasn't the French the one that uh held down your Haitians? For yeah, that, 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 that still got Haitians. They still got Haitians. Haitian Haitian you know taxes, you know. But I'm not gonna put my opinion about when, that. When, when people told me about that, politics listen, is listen, dangerous, listen, man. Listen, first of all, I'm not the one who taxed them. Well, I'm not the one who. who I'm not a dumbass Haitian who said, "Hey, I, I just beat you in the war to get my freedom back, but I'm still gonna pay you money I don't have yet." Like, I, to me, the, like, and I, I said a lot, a lot of time with, with slavery too. Like, yeah, we can blame the the Dutch, we can blame the Europeans, but it was a black, it was a black tribal leader that sold his people away. You feel me, like? What? I'm pulling strings out here. I'm, I'm reaching. You know, I'm reaching. You, you're, I'm going, you're going deep with it, but you know, <laughs> at, at the end of the day, that's what that's what politics is all about. You know, you want to try to get as close to the truth as possible, whether it's there or not. So, you know, I, that's why I leave politics to the experts. Let them give their opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, say I don't really try to get into that kind of stuff. But it's all while good. we're on it, let's let's get to the, the the real subject at hand, man. Since we're talking about tribulations and trials of other people, mm-hmm. let's get into the the all new screenplay. Yes. Starring you, Mrs. St- Sterling. Sterling Delphonse. You can tell a Haitian name when you see one. Delf- Sterling. <laughs> Sterling. Sterling. Sterling Delphonse. <laughs> Delphonse. Lisa. And Mackinson Soufouin. <laughs> I was saying the Creole way for your homie. Mackinson. It's Mackinson Soufouin. For, for my American, <laughs> my English speaking character. And um, Lisa LaFrance. Speaking of France. Good right. segue. So, um, 
You like the Samuel L. Jackson of freaking Miami. Um, <laughs> well, I, 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 I thank thank you for that. I appreciate it. You know, um, but you know, the gr- it's it's a grind. You know, you, it's a grind. You got to always do things to keep yourself relevant. And um, you know, the fact that I took I took a I took a, a little break in between what I was doing, and I you know I, I was able to get an opportunity to play uh, a play with you know mm-hmm. Consequence of a Side Chick with Vladimir Dubois. Shout outs to you, my shout friend. Shout out to Vlad and um, <laughs> you know. And Effie mm-hmm. and, uh, you, you know. I've got another one with Jeanette, his name. Jeanette. There we go. Jeanette. <laughs> Jeanette. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um, shout out to him. He, you know, he gave me the opportunity to start this wave. And um, I had projects that I was doing before that. But, you know, it, 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 with projects, it, it takes time. No, yeah. not really. Yeah. Yeah. It just takes time for the projects to get done. So now they're finally being done. But they're done. They're being done back to back. So it seems like I'm just like, yeah, uh, you know. Like, hold on. Was he just doing this? <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? To, let's Go. just backtrack. We did um, Consequence of a Side Chick. Yes. Awesome success! I got a DVD at home. Yeah, thank you. Real thank good job. Thank you. I appreciate um, it. Um, and then Cuzzle, Cuzzle, Cuzzle is in uh is in production right now. Production. Um, shout out to J One. Uh, he's gonna be directing the film, and we've uh we wrote the script together, and we are uh, we're gonna produce it. So um, we've already gotten our cast in line, and we're we're pretty much waiting. We're just trying to um etch out a few wrinkles of okay. the production minor details, minor details so that we could start production but so that's something that's going to be down the road really? i'll come to your show in another year uh, from well, now well, all right back, I'll, you know I'll, I'll, I'll be here <laughs> long they don't keep me out hey i'm paying my rent <laughs> <laughs> and now we hear tribulation my tribulation my tribulation tribulation, tribulation when. When. that's um that's gonna that this movie here i really i really appreciated doing it because it's a it's the first movie i was able to do with my native language creole oh, it was in creole it's in creole it's I, I, read, I saw the trailer you're like yeah come on let's party <laughs> <laughs> well you know i throw a little english in there or two you know just you know we, I, we try to make the film as real as possible this, Hais, haitians like to speak creole and yeah, english all at the same yeah, time so english yeah, so, <laughs> so it's gonna be it's gonna be mostly in creole but it's gonna be in english subtitles so okay. the, you know so the american viewers and um non-haitian viewers could watch it as well now, is it is is the setting? Is it, I know it was filmed in Miami, right? It was so that, filmed in I Miami. Saw the, I saw the background. I recognize, right. like, like I played basketball there. I know that part. Right. It was filmed uh, in Miami. Um, but is the setting supposed to be Miami, or is it, is it like? No, the setting the setting is in Miami. Uh, the director Tony Delerm. Mm-hmm. Um, shout outs to him. He's in New York right now doing his thing. Um, he. Um, he had a vision when well actually i i gotta give props to who, who wrote it first you know uh sterling that mm-hmm. is the actual oh, she's the writer she's the writer and the producer of this film What's and up? tony delorme put the film to life so when he get um he gave me a call one day um you know i i went to his premiere a couple of years ago he had a premiere his movie um um heavenly side of hell mm-hmm. uh we we met up and we we spoke he told me he had a project that he was gonna do and he was thinking about you know having me play a, a role in it so i said you know i would definitely love to work with you mm-hmm. and you know when he when he brought it to me at first i was um i saw the story and i'm like okay this story is not cliche but we're growing up from a haitian household yes, i said the same thing going through you that understand situation. it i understand it's basically it. it's basically a, ch- a chick growing up from my from, from, this is what i got from the trailer right as a girl growing up with a strict Haitian parent exactly that won't let her do anything single mom single, single mom, mom that, wow. that that had the dad leave mm-hmm. you know she now the mom wants to keep her tied Take up it. and you know uh, uh well the um um St- Sterling's car character Stacy uh. she wants to venture off she wants to know what life so is all about yeah. but you know mommy and you know the parents <laughs> want to keep her inside yeah. and don't want to you know let her see there's a line in the trailer like Haitian lockdown like exactly you tell me for all Haitians out there if you don't that's that's basically a Haitian mom telling you I'm, I'm not giving you that friend to have. Like basically, every Haitian who grew up in, in, in grew up in South Florida or in, yeah, New York as well. Whoever, every Haitian period. Any man. first generation, <laughs> any first generation American Haitian kid has has gotten that speech. Yes. And you it, it kills have me. No friends. Yeah, you can't have no friends. I give you. I am your friend. L'école la caille l'église. L'école la caille l'église. Yes, this is your friend. And, but, <laughs> but this is why this is what makes this film so interesting because. Um, the one thing that we do know that the parent always kept us tight, mm. but the parent never understood the effect that has on mm. the child. Yeah. And this is what happens with this movie. I'm not gonna spoil it, you mm. know, because I bought you a ticket. Oh, so you could come through. Nice. You know, I want to make sure you come oh. over there. You know, December, uh, November 28th, a little Haiti Culture Center. Everyone who's listening, make sure you get your tickets from me. This Saturday. This Saturday coming Shit, up. I'll be yeah, there. Definitely. Well, that's why I made sure. Okay, I, next. Okay, I'll next. Be, I'll not be, today. Be, not be, today. Be, next. I had to think about. Drugs, but <laughs> it's all good. But um, but it's it's what happens. It's what she goes through is why we you know they call it tribulation and, and um, 
it's it's it, it's it's a, it's a way to show our generation or remind our generation what we went through so that way when we raise our children we could be a little more flexible flexible more with lenient. them i mean even though the world we live in is very rough now yeah. but we could Worse. be a little bit more flexible than our how our parents were yeah. when they were when we were growing up you know and um i enjoyed i enjoyed playing this character that i'm playing called Pouchon because in yeah. the, <laughs> <laughs> push on. How, how fitting push is that, on right? sound like trouble. Push on. That sound like the, 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 every everybody knows a push on that, 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 that was that was a vodka boy. Huh? Like, if your name push on, you was so yeah. Yeah. But, but but push on but but you know what though push on is not a vodka boy in this film you know no no push on is not a vodka boy. No, well I mean if, I, if if party if the party guy is what it is you know well, that you makes know. him vodka boy then he's guilty okay. but I, um, he's the lively one but he, there you go okay. he's the lively one he likes to party he wants to have a good time but there's a part of him that wants to that wants to you know he wants to be in love he wants to have a woman you know what I'm saying he has a girlfriend named Marjorie who who's was who, play um Carfleet that's the main character with the, the braids no the, the main character with the braids is actually Actually Sterling, that's uh-huh. Stacy. Okay. But Carfly, she's no, she does not appear. She does not appear on the poster, but she's playing my girl. She played my my girlfriend slash, slash you know. Who plays the mom, dog? Because the mom has a she. She's a real, she has to be a real mother. That's Lisa LaFrance. She has to be because she has that <laughs> Haitian scowl down. Like, don't look at this picture. This picture, she's somewhat. Look at this picture. And look at the picture on the um. You should go on her. In- uh-huh. You should go on her uh, her Facebook. She like, has a, job. No, she became. No, you know what? I, I I give her respect because she she brought that character. You know, and Dude. and, and Tony she made brought you feel that character a certain way. I she, felt like my aunts were looking at me, and I was like, <laughs> "Bitch, as you knew, I turned them or something." Them. <laughs> my wife didn't need I've been drinking alcohol. Exactly. Like she gave her face. Like, oh shit, that's a real. Story. As we were shooting, I started looking at her like that for real. And now you know, because I would be on set. You know, we don't really hang out like that, but only on the set. So when I was on set with her, I I started to look at her like that old gumun. Yeah. That old lady type, but then one day uh, when we went to go screen the film, uh, I seen her. She was all dollied up, and you know, <laughs> I was like, "Hey, you played that role right." So you know what? People are gonna love it. It's a very touching story. People, that's, people that's been through that situation is gonna relate, and they're gonna feel for it. And I just hope that everyone that goes see it ha- enjoys it, cause you know the cast did a good job. Shout out to Sterling Mackinson, um, Ster- um, Lisa, Siwowo, uh, Carfly, and the, or most of all the director Tony Delerm. Uh, it was it was a great time working with these guys, and um, I just I, I I'm happy that I'm able to do a film to embrace my culture. culture yeah, you know, and, and a little and show a little diversity too, you know, because yeah. it was it was it's a cha- needed, it's needed. Yeah, it was a challenge because I don't read Creole, I don't read Creole, I don't I don't write Creole. Creole. Yeah, it's it was it's it was hard for me to try to translate that, so I had to I had to pretty much get in get into that character and just you know just wild out. Well, that's it, the thing about acting, man. If you uh when you act, if you can make somebody believe your story what you what you got on yes, screen yes. man that makes you a, a that's what makes you a great actor it's not just Absolutely. special effects uh right. you know a little l- little lines you say it's how you make people feel about that character exactly. like you said how how uh lisa does her thing i mean lisa gonna do her i mean she that's did the front, that's the mom that, that's that's the mom right there that's lisa lafrance right listen, there i will buy a ticket just to see lisa lafrance play a zoe mom because <laughs> <laughs> she got the stare she got the zoe lady stare down pack listen we're gonna get back into the, into more topics to get into some music real quick, pay some bills. Um, we got a young brother out of West Palm named Tsunami. Um, in my feelings, I'm gonna check out this new track real quick, and we'll be right back here on the Man Cave. And ah, the Florida Room presents the Man Cave here on SoulFlowRadio.com. Nigga, this- 
Christmas. Know them how to get money, fuck bitches. See niggas switching lanes, no stick shift, so I murder anything, move a fucking hit list. Guess cheese, but you know who with him, two with him, kill a hitter and a nigga who sent him. Nigga with a test, keep a number two with him. Who kill a few women and a couple Jews with him? Got you in your feelings, but fuck how you feel. My mama needs sinners, my son need a milk. I hope that you break cause I'm better than skills. The pimp taught me no him for the love of the bill. Cause I'm on top, cause of the watch, cause of the pop Give me your effort, whipping the bass, whipping, whipping the bass Treating the boo like the trap, audio crack Feet selling clothes on that back, you niggas cannot hold me back Whipping the Chevy, whipping, whipping the Chevy I flooded the street, they say I broke the levy I came for the Fetty, them killers is young but they ready Clock in the closet, I kept it, back in the Mac in the back of the lap Strap with the gap like you niggas take naps Rack after rack, getting grabbed by the stack Call 911 cause them Haitians is back I just dropped the ceiling, got you in your feelings. Paparazzi filming, got you in your feelings. Don't be scared, your feelings got it in her feelings. But I just want the millions, but how she feeling? Hey, it's your boy Grizzy Gary. You are now in the Florida room at SoFloRadio.com. I'm fine. 
This is your girl, the Spotlight Diva, and you're in the Florida room with your boy, A.B. On SoFloRadio.com. Uh, welcome back, man. That was the homie, Smokey the Rapper, with um One More Shot off the um, Shonen Shon 101 mixtape. We also, yeah, that's the name of the mixtape for real. <laughs> <laughs> and before that, that was the young homie, Tsunami, with um In My Feelings. Here on SoFloRadio.com and the Man Cave inside the Florida room. With us today, man, we have the hardest working actor <laughs> in... Writer, producer, all that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, give, give it all up. up. Give it all up. Uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to let you... Writer, producer, screenwriter, just... uh, executive <laughs> producer. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm the messing cameraman. around. The cameraman. I'm messing around. I'm messing around. But um, right. yeah, man, Mr... Woody Deont, right? Yes, sir. You got to make it sound yeah, French. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I respect that, you know, because not too many people can say my last name right. They always say Woody Dent, you know what Dude, I'm I, I, And every time I, they do that, I look at them, I look at them with a crazy you, face. You, I'm you, like, you're not talking to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Clearly, the A is not silent. It's either you say Deant. I'll get, a, I'll, I'll get, a, I'll let you get away with Deant, but pronounce it right. What say, about Deant? No, not Deant. De Young. What if I'm real American? Deant. Deant. De De young. De young. If you're, if you're American, Deant. See no, see the thing is, Americans don't say don't, don't pronounce the A like well, want. Well, I want they, they, they don't pronounce it's R's not, either. It's not, Ameri- it's not American last name. <laughs> it's not it's a first last name. So you know, what? We, you know uh, it's with R. that being said, I respect that because the, the, the Puyos make us get they, they Spanish. Uh, you're absolutely. damn right. You cannot, mess up, you cannot mess up Spanish. No, it's Gagigo. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it's Dion Woody Dion. You get it right, man. Um, and we're talking about the new screenplay to be last somewhere. Uh. Premiering November 28th at the Little Haiti Cultural Center at 212 Northeast 59th Terrace, Miami, Florida, 33137. Doors open at 6. <laughs> so to make sure you're on time. <laughs> doors open at 6, everybody. <laughs> yes, doors. Not Haitian time. It's Not six, ha- yeah, 6 o'clock, please. Please get there on time. One blunt time. Because there's performances, there's going to be dance, and there's going to be movie watching. So you don't want to miss nothing. Now, so what we going to have, sure come. Let's, let's see if we can get somebody. We're giving out free... A, a free complimentary VIP ticket to the grand opening of the show for anybody who call in at 954-990-0036. That's 954-00... Oh, 954-990-0036. You come see Mr. Woody Dion, Mr. Mackinson Soufrant. I'm saying like I'm saying like, like an American, damn it. Mackinson Soufrant, for all my North Miami <laughs> uh, listeners. <laughs> Stalin Delphonse and Lisa Lefonce. Um, It's a... I've seen the trailer. The trailer, the, the trailer enough is captivating. So I can only imagine how awesome. Have you shown the, view, uh, the viewers the trailer yet? No. Uh, for for, uh, for the uh, all the online streamers, you know. Can we? Can we? Uh, is, is that possible, Wom um, Jack? Yeah, we let, let, let's give them a little taste of what the film is about. So that I mean, I'm, I'm I've been blowing it up on my social media, but you know, I I'm not oh, friends oh, with oh, everybody oh, on his Facebook page. I'm not friends with many of uh, the people that you know, so it would be yeah, nice yeah, for your fans and the people that are listening right now. Because I've, I've I've tagged a few people from all across the the United States, so yeah, so you got you got people in Jersey tagging me like, oh, I know him. <laughs> I'm like, network. Oh, yeah, network. I, saw, I saw that. I saw that. My we, cousin, we, like, yeah, yeah, we, man, we go way back, man. We go way back. That's you know, mess up. She's my cousin, and I met her two years ago for the first time. Oh wow! That's, at, that's at, a fam- bad. at a fan reunion. That's bad. At, <laughs> at least you ain't Kevin Gates. Right? That's bad. But you know what? Though she left a long time ago. Kevin she, Gates. She, she, yeah. left, she left Miami a long time ago. Yeah, her, that whole side of my family took I, off. I would say about 20 years now she's yeah, been gone. So. That whole side of my family so, took off a long time ago. Yeah, that, so that, that's, that's the rich side of my family, though. Like, they got, so you wouldn't have seen they, it. They moved up north and they got cribs forgot and shit. Her, forgot to run the rest mm, of y'all. On yeah, they, my they, own. They, they left us out here. Why did it end this way? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> For all those out there wondering. That is one Jack Frost, man. <laughs> For making sure we come, we, we sound perfect on the, on the mic and adding a little... Extra ad libbing. You better come out. The come imaging. On, Daddy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my producer extraordinaire, man. I can't. I, I. I. I would. I would be half the man I am without this dude, man. But yeah, what are we talking? About? Oh, France. And I. Have you seen what France is doing to Syria, though? 
Um, I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be perfectly honest you with you. You so busy grinding, you it, on, you, you have time. Man. It's not that I don't have time. I, when I do have time, I, I, I spend my time watching sports. I, I, I mean, talk about the heat, man. I, how, let's, let's talk, talk about, about the heat. Let's talk about the heat. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about the heat. I mean, no disrespect to France I mean, or all that here, stuff, here, but here, here here's I the am. pressing out that people dying out here. Here, 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 here I am trying to be all. Yeah, because people dying out here too. Here I am trying to be all, um, gung ho and all mature about it. Yeah, how, how about the goddamn heat? Oh, oh, the, the heat. What? Before we go into that, are we going to play the trailer now? Are we going to play it? All right. Well, um, you want to talk about the heat? Yes. Yeah, matter of fact, I want to talk about Golden State. Golden State. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Golden, yeah, Golden State is doing that their boy, thing. That boy Curry is a bad man. Yeah. Listen, the other day, I, I lost money. And I, and I knew I shouldn't have did it, but like everybody and their mama was going with Golden State. So I'm mm-hmm. thinking, man. I'm gonna go with the Clippers. Don't tell me you went to the Clippers. I went with the Clippers. I ain't gonna lie. I right. thought they were gonna win. Dude, they were up by 24. I turned the TV off. But you Bruh. know what? The, the, I should have known. You better. should never turn off the, the known TV better. off when and Clippers basketball. are up by double digits. <laughs> After the playoffs, Courtesy right? from last season. <laughs> the and Clippers don't finish the game. That's just what it is. It they, ain't football. It's basketball. basketball. It's basketball. It's Steph Curry. Man, no, you, will, <laughs> you could be down 10 points with five seconds left. You will win that yeah, game. You could win that game. Miami did it. Well, I wouldn't say. 28 seconds 28.5 seconds down by so 5 Rayana, right? uh, it's yeah, possible. exactly it's so, possible yeah. it's possible but so I mean Steph Curry better than Ray Allen nah, but, <laughs> that, but sh- that boy that boy shooting like and I remember out, I, 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 was, I was leaving my job we were watching it at my, we were watching it at my job mm-hmm. and I was leaving my job like man they up 24 we turned off the TV like hey let's go home like the restaurant was already closed like hey let's go home it's over like <laughs> or, or let's go home and catch a 4 quarter at home but I'm like man it's over I'm finna, I'm, I'm finna go holler at my homeboy and collect my money my, and, and one white boy told me, like, listen, man, 24 points, that's nothing but a quarter for Seth Curry. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> that ain't nothing but a quarter. That kid. Come on, man. And and I get home, and, get, and this little red nigga got He up. snapped. He snapped like he normally do. He, but, you know, do the like, no he's, look threes, he's, though. He's playing, he's playing lights out, though. He's playing on a whole yeah. other level, have we, man. have we seen somebody that good? Like, I mean, we, we all grew up in the Jordan era. Jo- yes. Right. Have we seen anybody that good? Because... Thing is, I got, they had this one guy. He wasn't that great, but he was able like, to. Um, we had we had Jordan, we had Kobe, we had Le- we have LeBron. We have LeBron. Yeah, that guy. They LeBron. can't shoot threes like exactly. this guy, man. As far as three point shooter, <laughs> I haven't seen a three point shooter shoot like that since Reggie. So. Like you, you could be seven foot. Yeah, Reggie. That's since true. Reggie, man. But, but even Reggie, but think about his his, his his my team with Reggie. Reggie needed the shot to be created for him. Right. Like Reggie had to come off screens. Like he can break you down and then. That's like, a, yeah, he, I see he, the man he, catch the ball. And I, I played basketball. Like mm-hmm. I know, ba- I, I feel like I'm a student of basketball. You gotta be squared. Like anybody, any coach will teach you. You gotta be squared. Your shoulder, your feet gotta be squared to your shoulders. Your body, you feel me? You got perfect. perfect Dude frame, catches the ball it. in the most oblong Bravo, angles, yeah. dog. Like and, the and most. He loves that and just and it's all. It ain't no it, luck yeah, backboard. It's net. Like, it doesn't see, look. Has though. anybody <laughs> seen Seth Curry hit a backboard shot? Nah, no, it's, it <laughs> he not. never splash, makes not. it. Splash. It's, it's just straight splash. Man. <laughs> yeah. This, everything is all net. It's like I ain't seen him practicing. He practices and it's all net. Like mm-hmm. he practices left hand shots all net. I'm like, and I used to be like that. Like I used to be like, I'm, I'm not leaving the court till I make ten straight all net free throws. Right. This nigga makes ten all net three pointers. <laughs> yeah. In man. a game. In his sleep. He's yeah. He's like, I, 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 I no pressure. Be, I, and you know what? He, you know what his motivation is. If he makes five or more three pointers, he has sex on demand by his wife. That's what I heard. Real nigga shit. <laughs> I read that. Too. His, 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 his I, wife, read, I read that. <laughs> his wife said if he makes five three pointers a game. No, 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 no. On demand, no questions no asked. Questions Have asked. you seen his wife? And, and yeah, he got a bad one. Straight she is she beautiful, straight, man. <laughs> so five three pointers, he getting whatever he want. Hey, on that's demand. motivation, bro. You feel that's me? Motivation for <laughs> <him>. <laughs> Hey, whatever works for for Curry, man. Man, listen, listen. But I was no. a, I, I was a fan of the the, the, the man with the, the untrust, untru, untrustful hairline mm. that 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 went that lives in Ohio. Yeah, that guy. That oh, guy? LeBron. Yeah, that guy. Woody. It's over for him though. Don't say that name. Don't, don't say that name I, on my show again. Hey man, look. I'm, 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 huh. you know, here's 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 my thing about it. You know that guy. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was I was a LeBron fan even when he was in Cleveland. I used to watch him and stuff. And oh, I, was, I hated him. In Cleveland. I, I I I was more happy when he came to Miami. I don't blame him. I'm not mad at him for going back to Cleveland because I know why he. I, I understand why he did it. But it's the timing. You know, for you to get your butt whooped like that on the, in the finals, you're supposed to regroup, retool, retool and give give him a three. I'm not even mad about Give him a thriller in Manila and then go back. Run, sign him one more year what with I'm us. What I'm mad about is how he you left, know, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's how, yeah, I feel like it's how he, how he left. But, you know. Yeah, you could have gave us a heads up. We could have picked up some but, players. But, you know, that, that's, you know, but that's LeBron, though. You should have known better because he, he did the same he, thing he in Cleveland. He did the same thing in Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? Look, that's just him. He did you know that to his wife. Why he going to do it to his mistress? You feel like he tried his wife. Why would he not? Like. Like, he that's all right, though. He tried his wife. He, he, that's he, all right. When he, he thought, what he thought he life. had, he ain't really had. And that's, and that's why, and that's why they're struggling right now. Yeah. He's trying to check his homeboys. <laughs> and, and, and
Yeah, he, you hear what he said the other day? Like, man, listen, when I was in Miami, exactly, I didn't exactly. have these problems. Like, yeah. I, can, I can come yeah. to these niggas. Nobody was in their feelings. Yeah, nobody was in their feelings. But I it's can okay, dudes, to tell them what it is. Niggas were always reminisce on the good chicks. You gonna remember? You always go back and remember that for that good, that good, that good, that good sex. You remember that good sex? That that girl, that girl who said she wanted Netflix and chill, but yeah, she thought she thought she jumped on you before Netflix while still Netflix was on the screen. You always remember her. Yeah, right. Matter of fact, next week, not next week, next show, December fifth. We were off to go because I got a whole bunch of Netflix and chill stories to go into. Because I'm still single out there, people. The Abdel Nell single uh, movement is, is not is not done. I just there's been other shit going on. Well, I will catch you on in the goings and tribulations of, of my single <laughs> of, of his single life. <laughs> Two we'll show catch, win. catch you up. Life. But with this one being said, I would like to play a little game with you, boss. Okay. Us black TV trivia. You being someone calling. Oh, matter of fact, before we go into it, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna play the trailer. Of to be last from where? Yes. Comment ça va la télé, mamie? Je me fais journée à ma pauvre cabane pour une pile, mon bas même point. Tu en passes le tapis. Eh bien, quel est le bas de bon, mamie? Oui. C'est une petite goyerenne toujours fait, haïtien. Nous avons mis un très dur, mais nous avons fait un hier. Ou pas de petit, comme on fait qu'on est. Dès que nous avons vu, nous n'avons pas besoin de petit pour qu'on est. Ça a été. Ah, je veux juste pour un petit bain là. Pourquoi est-ce que tu Mais ok, bye. Vous faites quoi Tu fais pas bon, vous faites pas cela. Et puis même quand tu as quitté ta marche là, tu vas venir te continuer aussi. Qu'il est ça, mamie Et je te dis, c'est pas pour pas stupide ou à l'homme de Them's old moms be serious. Take one of you. Papa, I'm going to put some in. Oh, and she walks off. Mm-hmm. You live by. Mommy. Tag your copy. Give your concert. Yo, girl, she got a little five gallon shit too. Of course. <laughs> she got the whole cooler <laughs> thing. <laughs> that's, that's from Haiti. That's from Glow Killy Gun Day. Oh, girl, had a sand machine. Are we ready to party? Yeah, we're ready to party, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's confusing me on one part? After this scene, it shows the mom. Oh, no. In her groove on, dog. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's, that's, the part of it. that's what That's what makes the thing change, but you know. My lag is unreasonable. Spoiler alert. You don't pop up on your head. Nah, nigga. Bam. <laughs> Damn, that's real. <laughs> you sold me right there, bro. That's it, right there. Yeah. The, they used to come in smelling like a pound. What? Don't turn what? on the light. What? Right there. <laughs> you scarred. Right there. You can't put. Ain't that time to get no spray or no, nothing. nothing. My, like, my old girl and my aunt used to be the same way, though. They sitting there. Pierre Quasi. Waiting for him. Mommy, zombie, we get that film in the machine. Oh. Pour ça, je vous joue. Ça, je vous joue. Mais ça, c'est le trailer de um, My Tribulations, translated in French, is Tu peux l'acheter au moins. Um, like I said, premiering November 28th at the Little Haiti Cultural Center. Address. Am I, am I good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Everybody, everybody, well, any more okay. showings? Right. That's the only time it's showing? Well, uh, that's, the, that's the first thing we're um, working on right now. We're trying to premiere it in Miami first. And, you know, granted that it does good, we probably. Uh, Probably buy shop around New York, and we're, we're we're looking at Haiti too. You know, red carpet premiere in Haiti. That would definitely be good. That would be a good you look. Know, I would I would love that my personally because I would love to go back home and premiere a movie. That sounds to, good. To, When's to, the last time you've been to Haiti? Man, I've been to Haiti. It's in, last time was on June two thousand nine, right? Be, like right before the, uh, the earthquake. earthquake. Man. Yeah, and I, I miss it like crazy, man. Yeah. I'm trying to do carnival next year. 
Okay, uh, doing, you're going? You going? That's a that's the definite. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a definite. Yeah. I, I I know definitely next year I'm gonna put it in my agenda to uh, to go to. Yeah, yeah, I'm going next year. March. It's been a long time. February. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be in, I'm I'm, be, I'm being dr in March. So I'm gonna go slide over. Dr. My brother owns property there. Huh? Oh, well, handle your business, man. You know, enjoy yourself. You know, free property. Why <laughs> <I don't> not? <laughs> well, um, we gonna dr. Get, let's, 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 I'm gonna give let's, dr my money. Let's, let's get back. Let's get back into the. Let's, let's get back into the um the trivia, man. Okay. Well, real quick, we got ten minutes. Well, it's black TV. Since so we got the hardest Haitian, the hardest working black Haitian I know, Haitian Samuel, the, Sam, the Haitian Samuel Jackson. <laughs> we're gonna go black TV trivia. Okay. Oh, All, right? All right. Now, for participating, you get a free chicken wrap at Payway. <laughs> Y'all check Payway. out Payway. I don't like Asian food. Payway Asian. I keep it anyway. Payway Asian. Give, give, give it to a female. It's uh, gonna uh, impress them. <laughs> All right. Payway Asian Diner, man, <laughs> located on, on, on Biscayne Boulevard, um, in the. Oh my God! I forgot the address. <laughs> in in the. Think the shopping plaza. The shopping Moving plaza. On. The shopping plaza on 188th and Biscayne Boulevard. Google oh, it. Right, right, right next to um, what's that new place? That's this Bonefish Grill, and Sprint. Google it. Yeah, Google it. 188 188th and Biscayne Boulevard, man. Tell them, tell them, AB sent you. <laughs> now, feel free, Jack. You feel free to feel free to get in on this too. Now, you're not, you're not gonna get a free. You're not, you're not gonna get a chicken wrap, but join the game as well. Uh, question number one. Who was Moesha's little brother's? What was Moesha's little brother's name? In real life or in the no, show? No, it's on the show. I don't know. I swear um, his name is real life. Oh. She get extra for you. Get another, <laughs> another cheat rap. You know his real name. Oh, uh, uh, Moesha's brother. Moesha's little show? brother. Miles. Just look at this. God damn. Yeah, you good? Because I sure as hell ain't remember that. Come on. Come on All right. Oh, oh, oh okay. Then. Then. I do, right. Bring it. Finish the sentence then. Uh, Will Smith most spent most of his days doing what? Will Smith. Will Smith spent most of his days doing playing what? basketball. And, no, like, give me the line, bro. Um, uh, on the on the playground is where I spend most of my days. I, I gotta bring for right now. <laughs> <laughs> chilling around, K- where I spent most of my days, chilling out, racking, we got cool. cooling. There we go. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Never All right, go. So sorry. All right. I, I, I let you come. I let you remake it okay. with theme songs. Okay. Where did the where did the Jeffersons move move on up to? To the east side, right. the deluxe apartment in the sky. There we go. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so, so we gonna stick to the seventies. Um, Lamont was often called this by his son, by, by his father, on oh. Stafford's son. Lamont was often called this word. You should know this, Jack. I ain't gonna lie, you got me on this. You one. know I, this, Jack. I, I wasn't really on Sam, uh, Stanford's son like that. Dummy, you big dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Put an X star on me. I, I, I missed that one. I'm not really into. It. And since my since, since my home since since my homie took work off, since took a, a 45 minute lunch break to come on this show, what was Tommy's occupation on Martin? You know Tommy ain't had no <laughs> job, <laughs> man. He got no job, man. I mean, he got no job. <laughs> All right. So while, while we're on while we're on famous phrases, mm-hmm. what was the famous phrase from Different Strokes? Or Arnold's famous trade. What, famous what you talk talking about, Willis? All right, let's keep it going. What was JJ's famous famous quote? Dino White. <laughs> you got the character. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now this, this was low key one of my favorite shows growing up. Okay. Now, there was four chicks in this show. Mm-hmm. One of them did not live on on one, and living single. Which one of them did not live in the apartment with them? The one with it. Uh, nah, nigga, that, that don't count. <laughs> I need to know a name, oh, dog. Damn. <laughs> Khadija. No, 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 Khadija. Not Khadija. Khadija was the big girl. Uh, um, it was Khadija. That was I Rajin. got the name. It, 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 say the name. That was Khadija, Rajin, Max, and um, what's the other one name? That's the one. I'm. That's the one. No, I'm Max missing. was the one I lived off. Of. Max didn't live in Max, that house. Yeah, Max is the one who did. Yeah. That was fucking with Kyle. That's true. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Max, Max, Max. All right, all right. All right, we got two more questions, man. Okay. Seven minutes left. All right, we got LLQJ played a retired football player in what show? In the house. Oh, that was my show. Oh. <laughs> you know that. Yeah, have y'all seen that, that chick show. from in the house? She went. She went psycho, dog. She got. She got Kim, Kim Wayne's? No, 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 no. The young one, dog. Tisha Campbell. The oh fan, man, the she turned to a crackhead. She, she, she was the oldest daughter. She had skills, so she had. She had. Lead the, lead the, tell the show. Really? Yeah. Tell you, cause oh she, man. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. I see. I see. You know what? I went on Facebook and I seen a picture of her. Like yeah, like she, she was whacked out. Whacked out. But she she got back though. And then she got fucked up again. Again? Oh yeah. man. <laughs> now here's all right. Last but not least, Jack, feel free to feel free to get in on this one too. I need you to name me five of Martin's alter egos from the show. Oh yeah, everybody turn their teeth. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Roscoe. Oh no no no. Give me one at a time. Okay. Yeah, 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 we helping each other out. Yeah yeah. Oh, we helping each other out. out. Okay. Jerome. Uh huh. Roscoe. Dragonfly Jones. Uh huh. Hustle Man. 
Hustle, no, 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 Oh, oh, white box. <laughs> I'm out of control. Out of control. out of control. <laughs> this whole <laughs> damn party is out of control. <laughs> Hammer. Hammer. That, that was just one season. Was was he, 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 on one season? he was on more than one show. He was. Nah. Yeah, yeah, he was on more, more was than one, one show. He was on a party show. He showed up on another show too. Yeah, he showed up on at least two. Uh, the, the Keith Washington episode, he was there. Yeah. yeah. Said, you want to be right here? You got to get with the hammer. Bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, look at the prize of that one, bro. Excuse me for a second. We, we forgot about Mama, Mama, Mama Payne. Mama yeah. Payne. And my favorite, well, my favorite, my favorite was actually um Dragonfly Jones. My the second favorite. Well, don't you know no good? Oh, don't, don't you know, know no, no good? good. That was oh, no, that was that was don't you know no good? Oh man, listen. Otis was the security guard, right? Yeah. The security guard, oh, okay. Otis. You see the dude who, who dressed up as him for for, for Halloween? Oh like, man, Halloween, man. Had, they went in. One this dude year, had kid. him down pat, like for real? all the Martin characters got. Like so I saw a dude with, with, with Otis. I saw a dude play Jerome. Like niggas brought back. I Martin. seen Jerome. I seen Jerome. Niggas that he did back. a good dude, job. Dude had the dude had the brown sh- the short brown security brown shorts and stuff <laughs> with the hair and the like he 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 killed Otis, dog. He had Otis down pat, dog. But, Let me um, tell you something, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, man. Hey, I want to thank you guys for participating in um the man cave Florida room. Jeopardy, I guess. I like that. Yeah. I, like, <laughs> I like that game. You, you challenged me on a little. Of course, bit. yeah, man. I had to. I had to get. I had to try. Like, oh, we should brothers. That yeah. would have never got that. that was shit. Miles, you forgot about Miles. That was a yeah. I Miles, was, I was about to say Ray J. I, I know. Like, I just yeah. 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 I first and, 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 and here's the thing: you would have gotten me if you would have said uh, Moesha's, uh, Mo, brother? Moesha's brother, but his brother in real life. But what was his name on the show? Uh, I, oh. Remember, he was on the show. He, he was on the show. He came later on the show and then out that the father was that was his you know stepped out and that was his son. You forgot about that. You no, know that was that was like like right before he got canceled. Right before he got canceled, yeah. So I remember, I, if you would have asked me about his name, I would have thought uh, you would have ah, totally got me. So, so. you're you the guy with that one as well. Oh, yeah, I would have got one that that one wrong. <laughs> I'm glad you went that route though. But listen, man, I want to thank you for coming by, man. No, thank you for having me, Ab. I appreciate it, man. Listen, for, uh, for all those who don't know, y'all can check out the show again. It's to be last show went my tribulations. November 28th no, debut on at November the 28th Hay Culture, Culture Center on 59th Street and 59th Terrace and Second, Second Avenue. Now. Uh, if, uh, the GPS uses 272 Northeast 59 Terrace Miami, Florida 33137 And you'll be lost Because it's 212 <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Oh two, it's 212 It's 212 Oh my god I've been putting 272 Oh, oh no Oh shit This man. is a bottle like it. Hey not disregard All those posters I've been putting 272 It's 212 You've had a lot of oh, Facebook You've got to go back And edit that shit Yeah, yeah, yeah I gotta go I gotta I'm out of editing For all the lot there Saturday, Next Saturday man 212 Northeast 59 Terrace After a few months Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They still gonna have leftovers. They're gonna be eating turkey sandwiches. <laughs> In interpretation, all you people go eat your turkey. Real, real and quick, stuff real quick, real up. quick, real quick. Mm-hmm. Plans for Thanksgiving? Um, I think my sister's gonna be throwing uh, battery cooking. Yeah, I think she's cooking. She she oh, she, she, she threw it out that um the other day. So Valerie, keep on buying with me. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Valerie, oh yeah, we, we, we slotted, man. Shout out to you, Valerie. Let me get a plate. Let me get a plate. Stuff that turkey good. Can, man. can you know, Haitian make like twelve macaronis? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> give me two. Pla- give me two macaronis, a stuffing. I want Z Cola and Z Blue. Cause I know Zoe always make extra ziggy. Oh yeah, always. <laughs> so, yeah. so and then give me the give me the cordon and the sauce, and then give me the chicken. You are gonna make in the sauce as well. I don't think right, Haitians would like exist if Haitians and like Chinese people wouldn't exist if there was no rice, dog. Dog. Yeah, but, dude, they go in with the rice. I, got, I had to leave it don't, alone, don't, man. Don't, right. yeah. Yeah. Don't, not, don't, listen, I can't. I can't leave it alone. I, I cannot leave it alone. You I, have I, to, I, dog. I, tried to, I ain't gonna lie. I That's tried the to. devil. Then I go. The devil, Bobby Boucher. I go to Libby Bay and get me Cole with Tasso Complex um, and Gigonadia. Oh man, I'm in heaven, kid. Listen, I'm in heaven. I, I can't I can't speak for all of because it's so much, but there's one in, in Fort Lauderdale called a China Hut. Mm. Only go there and get get it and go. Do not hang out because it's a real shady neighborhood. <laughs> and it's and it's funny because it's China Hut, right? And it's a it's a it's a like a old farm store, you know, mm-hmm. the drive up farm stores, but they flipped into a Haitian restaurant. The best legume this side of my mama. And, and that's, that's 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 a hell of a that's a hell of a um, promotion. A that's a very good statement, right? I there. ain't gonna say nothing. You're gonna get a collar behind your head when you leave here. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
What? I said behind my mama. Oh, okay. But okay. I asked him, oh, no, no, the K, nobody can make No, listen, man. Okay. I don't care who your mom is. She hey, cannot look, hey, my mama. Hey, look at man. Ain't nobody can make licking like my mama. <laughs> hey, what? No, who? No, what? actually, no. I've had your mama licking. Uh-huh. <laughs> your mama licking. <laughs> you see, I wasn't licking, just bro. talking. So listen, before we go, man, one more time. What, what, what can we find? Trial Tribulation. I mean, Tribulation when? Tribulation, November 28th at the Little Haiti Culture Center. Um, uh, this next next Saturday, tickets are available through me. You can inbox me at Woody Dion, uh, Facebook. You can hit me up on Instagram. I'm on social media media live uh i will be hitting the road this week uh, selling tickets so if you see me you see me you know so just enjoy it and just do our thing and with that being said we are out out with the floor room you. the man cave strip club of the week oh can't the man I, I, I can't vegas 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 vegas, 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 vegas. vegas. Oh, i am jay phil um congratulations on the wedding congratulations on the wedding um live it up oh, on, 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 on your on your on your bachelor party man we out man you Later. Okay, thank you. Uh, bon dia, Ben. Okay, 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 bye. I want to go home. I don't want to. <laughs>